What's up you guys, Houston here from McCarlton.com Well anyway, as you could tell, I completely made an identical clone of myself Hey, you just freaking made me die Excuse me? Yeah, you heard me You can't be serious, right? I'm like trying to make a video right now And? And you're my clone, so when I'm trying to make a video, you need to try and stay quiet, alright? Hey, forget you, I'm no one's clone yeah, and that's why you'll never beat my high score anyway. What does that have to do with anything? Wow. I knew I should have made you a lot smarter. Hey, forget you. I don't need to take this. Alright, so the very, very, very first thing you want to do is make a script. Instead of making a video and not knowing what you're going to say, is make a script. So I say something, and then I wait five seconds because... My clone is going to say something, in this case his name is Austin, okay? I'm just going to call him Austin. And then he says something, and I say something else, and I wait five seconds. And while I'm waiting and all that, I'm recording it with voice memos on my iPod. So that works very well. And then, let me show you. So once you got your film all ready and everything, let me show you, for example, how it would look like. So I always put the first one on top because it's easier that way. And what I am doing, I'm just like talking everything. I'm looking at my script, watching when am I going to like pause and just like stay there and wait for my clone to say something. So, and over here is my iPod where I'm recording it. So I record it right before all that. And then over here, you look at it. If you look at me over here, then, you, well, you can't see me for yet, but you look at me, I am have my earbuds on and everything, and I'm hearing what I'm saying over here. My clone is hearing what I'm saying over here. It makes sense, all right? You just, it takes a bit of practice. And then after you get both of them and put them into Sony Vegas Pro, it could be any Vegas Pro, it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure that all versions of Sony Vegas has that effect. You want to match it up. So if you look at it, this says it right here. You want to match it up. Put this like a little bit over here. And make sure that there, there's no overlay of a person speaking. Identical clone of myself. Hey, you just freaking made me die. Excuse me? Yeah, you heard me. You can't be serious. Alright, so it actually sounds like a real conversation. That's what you want to get at. And if... And I wouldn't recommend cutting the video or it'll look totally fake and that's not the thing you want to go for, fake. And yeah, that's basically what you do. Then after that, you want to press this button over here, Effect, FX, and then it should say Sony Cookie Cutter and press OK. Then once it, you will see the screen right here, you want to press this and actually drag it. Well, actually, you don't want a circle. You want a square. I forgot. You want to press square, then drag it. Keep it in the middle. And right there actually looks great. Alright, and like you'll see, you'll see a little line right there. And it's alright, it's alright. You just want to feather it just a little bit. Wait for it to feather it, and there you go. That's basically it. And if you want... To add as much, as many clones as you want, then go for it, it's alright. But the more clones you have, the harder it will be. Trust me, I tried it. I tried with like four clones at once, it's crazy. So once you do that, you could cut it by pressing the S. Get rid of this. And get rid of this. And you'll have a clean video just like that. And of course, get rid of the other noise. Because see, in line of your of the split screen, then you'll start to disappear like you'll see over here. Yeah, see, right there. So just crop that and everything. <laughs> Alright, well that's all I have to say. And Before Austin totally interrupted me. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm out.